today we are preparing for for our trip in the Pangas. 6 11 a.m. This is the first pickup point. Meron kami dalawang pickup point, isa sa jubilation sa kay Kaladok. Uh, ang total na kasama namin ngayong trip na ito ay lima ako yung fifth wheel. Yun ang tigdadala may may mga partners. You might have known this place. Uh, it's it's Tita Esi, Austria's set up vlog setting here. Uh, they do twice a week, they upload twice a week, so I'll put a link down below. Yeah, watch it. <laughs> we are at Caltex in, in, in front of Verona, SunTrust. Uh, CR break. Malapit namin sa Tagaytay. Medyo traffic pa ako yan. Grabe yun. Hindi ko lang ano meron pero traffic. Testing, testing. <laughs> Point five lang to malilim. Sana. Sundan ko lang to. Diretso lang. Oh. Diretso lang tayo. No, diretso lang. Tayo. Diretso, sundan ko lang yung daanan. Pag diretso, yun yes, tayo bang gano'n. <laughs> Tamaya ba? Oo. Oh. Nakaban lang ako. Hindi ko naman alam na okay. pagkakawin. Nasok ko na eh. Checkpoint, checkpoint. Ayaw ko yeah. ng checkpoint. Kinakaban ako parati sa checkpoint. Yan, yeah, hindi tayo mag-checkpoint. Tsaka requirements lang daw sa ano eh, diba? Sa... Ewan ko ha, sa Laia yun, San Juan. Oh. Iba yung mga dive sites. We are at Shell here in Nasugbu, uh, going to Lian, Batangas, and, and then to Kalatagan. I'm expecting good weather today and not so cold water and a very clean beach. That's my expectation for the Paris White Beach Resort. Okay, so we arrived at Paris White Beach Resort. Ah, uh, okay, Thank you, Sama kayo don, kung okay na sayo yun. Wow, bro, bro, video grabber talaga. Uh, this is the sea. It's not white, it's but the water has lots of seeds uh, and some trash. But they can be good, it's good. Nakabili na ng room. So, kasi yung veranda dun na sa kaiton. Yung bahay niya. Ah, uh, para harap ng beach. Okay. Ano ba na tayong gamit? <laughs> <laughs> Done our skin up. Uh, we applied some screen already, and we're walking to the other side of the beach to take pictures. And yeah, mga aura yan. Lahat sila pang aura. Ako yung mga driver lang.
oh, mag-iikot muna kami punta kami dun sa ano sa mangrove station sa, hindi ko alam kung kung ano tawag nila dun pero sa bakawan may sunset ka dito west to eh baka silhouette no uh, or dito ano silhouette tas jump meron pa kami isang inihintay si Doc Yel ito yung malaking part ito yung namumuo pa lang yan yung may tamilok no <laughs> yung tamilok kadiri <laughs> Dito sa ano no, medyo hindi ganun ka-ideal ang beach Parang kasi may mga uh, okay lang yung tay-tay ng aso pwede pwede pa yung natural yun. Pero yung mga basura kasi May mga basura ng coke, yung mga ganun May mga nagtatapon lang <laughs> Hindi siya ideal na pang Instagram no? Kagaya nga nito pag hindi ito alaga siguro magmukha itong yung Vanilla Bay dati no? kalatagan mas take action ituro na lang dahil mataas pa hindi pa kami lulublub eh. maya maya pa pagdating pa ni Zofie ok this is how we do it second time uh, nearing a mangrove first time was in Coron ito yung second time mabuti ito kasi this part of Patangas medyo ano to eh, medyo open, open na yung parte doon so kailangan talaga nito in case tsunami ganyan yun nakita nyo yun pero yung parte na yan yan sa so, tingin ko yan buka yan pag ano pag baba um, yun yung mga dapat iniwasan nyo sa, sa dagat lalo kung hindi kayo nakapunta or hindi kayo nagdadive lalo kung may bata kasi bigla siyang lumalalim na ganun parang parang bangin ends our uh, mangrove tour medyo mabato dito sa may mangrove balik na kami tayo mga mamaya titestingin kung lumangay dun sa may malalim na ganyan tingnan natin kung meron ng reef reef doon There's a saying, the man in the grill is the king. There's a saying, the woman in the grill is the queen. Close? Oh. Hello, girls. Walang hangin dito. Ang problema dito sa Kalatagan, sa grupo ng mga resort dito kasi, 
Ang mga nagpumunta. Parang walang manners. Nakapat na balik ako ng basura laman ng bulsa ko. Sa dagat, galing. Medyo hindi ganun kaganda yung beach dahil sa basura. Kakapi lang kami. Nag-aalisa na yung mga guests, no? yung kahapang mga guests, nag-aalisa na sila. Uh, so baka kami, yung, ilan lang kami maiwan dito sa resort. And okay yun, no? One, two, wait. One, two, three. This is the sea. Dito ano? May ina ang signal. Ina mas sara. Ah. Ganap na signal. Right now we're waiting for dinner. Bukas na yung mga ilaw dito. Nag-photo shoot lang kami ng kamera. Ito siya. Sumablay? Ah? Sumablay. Wala kami lang ang guest ngayon dahil lunes nanga. Uyan nang anila. Tang dakilam photographer. Carlo. May financer. Hindi pa lang. Manager para manager. Nagbigay ng client. <laughs> Ay ganto dito sa ano, Perez no. May mga ilaw-ilaw sila. Ah, uh, medyo maganda rin. I suggest kung pupunta kayo dito, magdala kayo ng food, kalan, sarili niyo kalan, or lutuan, butane ganyan. Pwede naman sa water heater. Water, ayan, water heater. Mahina rin ang signal dito ng Smart. Ang globe mahina rin. Anong alam mo na hindi namin alam dito? Um, secret! <laughs> Hi, Pulgoso! Take a bow! Take a bow! Take a bow! It's 6.25 in the morning. Do you know yesterday when I said I was expecting a very good weather? Well, today isn't that day. Doc, Doc, wala ka pang kambag sa vlog ko. Pwede ka pa mag-hike? The houses around this 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 place isn't just uh, owned by one person. Many our contact person was was a friend, and he lives on that greenhouse. We didn't stay there. The reason being is he's not there, and we had a discount for that. Hot water is free. Sir, kaya po ba nag-tutor? Karen? Okay, so that's how long. 
Ikaw ba kayo? Lima lang po. Magkano po pala niya? Isang bangga ako kasi. Tumatakbo yan ng ano. Minimum talaga na sampung tao yan. Ah, ang nga. Pero kung buwan, mamaya magkano pa ako ng bangka ang medyo maliit para sa inyo. Para yung traffic ko lang per head. Ano po yun? Yung ilang destination po ba yun? Mali, halos dalawa lang naman eh. San Bar lang at saka yung Little Bukaki kung tawagin nyo. Pero mm -hmm. so, mula po eh, no? Bukaki ko yan. 90%? Pero bukas okay na. Lalabas na ang bagay. Nandito pa kay bukas. Wala na nga po eh. Thank you sir, Tato Beng. Mm -hmm. I think that's the owner. And also the guard. Nothing much to say about that guy. He is a good man and trustworthy and just a, a cool guy in a resort, in a beach. I didn't get the name. June, maybe June. They also offer tours. There are lots of dogs in the place. Very, very good dogs. There are also a Asari Sari store and few animals. There's a free grill, karaoke, karaoke, it wasn't free, we had it because we know the person, we had a contact, so we had it for free, but the regular price for that is 1000 pesos, let's talk about amenities, they have rooms, let's, let me count all the rooms, probably 10 villas and few cottages, the nightlife, not much. Last night we just had karaoke and 10 bottles of soju. But I just drank 6. We were 5. They also have a bar. They have volleyball court, beach volleyball court. The ball is free. The, the port is free of use. Each side of the villas, they have a kitchen. But the range isn't free of use. There's a shower room where you can shower up before going to the room and finishing up there. In every villa, there is a full bath. What I didn't like about the place is that the water line, the barrier where people can swim and cannot swim, is very shallow. There were seaweeds and things that you wouldn't really want to step on. I only saw one sea urchin and that's on on a farther side of the stretch of the beach. Just one and it's it's this small. Most of the things here are free. You can borrow and they won't charge you. There's also a checkpoint before you come in here. You have to stop and show a medical certificate or a barangay certificate declaring that you are not under persons under monitoring or persons under investigation or showing any signs and symptoms of COVID-19. That's pretty much you have to know here. You have to enjoy the place, but the beach isn't that good because it wasn't that clean. I hope, I hope they they extend the stretch of of where people can swim because I believe there's a a drop. On that, on that part of the sea. I think they should clean the beach more often and find those who throw garbages at the sea. If you want to snorkel and you see garbages, plastic bags and food wrappers, playing cards, I would just like to tell you that you should and you need to clean up even if you didn't drop it or throw those garbages away because it will help the environment it will help the tourism boom it, this is a very long video now i'll show you the beach later just have my coffee i'm gonna tell you about the dogs the dogs are at the beach hello hi that is the beach right now this is the time where you can see the the trash on the shore is about to rain so hurrying up just to take photos of kasi mga late nagising kaya late rin yung picture nila kami ni doc doc Cheryl. tapos na kami picture
pang off na. Lo. Dogos. Marami pa sila oh. Mungas. Si Star rin ba yan? Ganyan. Ito may buhay pa na ano. Nasuerte ko doon kagabi sa ano. Ay! Hello, buhay. Akan nai bakal ada yang tunjukin naten. Sip sip put lagi. Anian, cuma lapan. Kami ni lah anak kita. Ati dalian mau kase. Kami dia sekarang. Dalian mau ati. Kami mana? Kami mana ati? Hahaha. Tidak ulu lah, awak mulai ulu. Diyan man niya ang angagot eh! Ang galing magturo hindi niya ayaw lumawak Tagaytay now. It's sunny today. Wala na ko che. Bye. Tawilis. Tawilis.